almost 100 years ago, a group of Kiwi soldiers, to keep them occupied, were brought up onto, onto the site and carved out uh, this kiwi. Um, and over time it has been kept and then unkempt and in the 1980s, so you know, recent history, 1980s, um, then Major Danny Fisher and his squadron, 249 Signal Squadron, came up and tidied it up. And from then it has been a, a voluntary effort to, you know, to, to keep it in the condition that it is. And, summer deployment we were here our uh, vehicles have been sh sent by ship to Turkey and we were flying out later we had some spare time I was annoyed by the state of the Kiwi which was overgrown so I got the boys to get the shovels out we're a very fit squadron and as a training exercise we decided to dig a hundred tons of chalk from the quarry down there put it in sandbags run up the hill and tip it in here break it over gave the boys an extra couple of days off a couple of beers Bob was your uncle it is a great memorial and should be kept going and I, I, I feel hugely proud that we had something to do with it. This is a scheduled monument. The Kiwi is protected in the same fashion as Stonehenge. It's a scheduled monument protected by government statute and therefore we're mandated to look after it. In addition we've got the extra layer upon it in that it's part of the military heritage on our estate and given, given our role within defence it's incredibly important that we do remember the actions of those that fought in, in past conflicts and this is a monument connected with the First World War not surprisingly connected with the New Zealand contribution to that war and so we're looking after another nation's heritage in many ways and it's a really important thing that we consider the roles of past servicemen and women as part of that whole narrative of the training areas in the past and then looking into the future of the the the, the actual landscape that we're having a, a, an effect of a positive effect on and that's why I think it's so crucial that we look after the Kiwi. It's been a lot of work getting it ready, but sitting in the Chinook and looking out over the Kiwi today and then seeing the number of people here today just looks yeah, really worthwhile doing. And when you see the, the, the number of people from New Zealand here today and the Signal's contribution and those lovely links that we're forging between the British military, or continuing I should say, between the British military and the New Zealand Armed Forces and High, uh, High Commission, I think it's a really important thing. So it's just a, it's a real thrill to see this many people taking care of a, of a monument of, of some significance on Salisbury, Salisbury Plain.